Though I have talked about the Demon Adventure 3 on my channel, I did reviews of a Reunion and Determination, which you can find if you look around. Actually, you know what? I will just link them in the description box down below if I can find them. They're really old videos. Maybe like a year or two old. The point, though, is that I do talk about the Digimon Adventure 3 releases on the channel. And I just figured, you know what? I saw the English version of Reunion. So why not give my thoughts on the dub? Now, first of all, I want to point out, I'm probably partly biased. The first time I ever saw Digimon was in dub form when I was like six, seven, maybe younger. Probably around seven, I would say. But, okay, my thoughts on the dub. I did, they had dub changes. You guys know how I feel about dub changes. But, mostly because of my nostalgia, it, it was like, they changed a couple, they changed a thing with TK and Kari to, to make it, to have more of like a romantic implication. In the Japanese version, it was more of a joke. It was more of like a, Kari kind of just made fun of TK. In this, you could tell they were in, in this, you could tell they were, they were implying something. Do I like that? No, I, I don't, okay, I'm going to take my glasses. I'm going to take my glasses on for it. <laughs> Can't make up my mind, but no, did I like it? No, it it bothered me. Am I going to be completely honest with you? It did bother me. That kind of annoyed me. It was just very bad. The, of course, there were a couple things with Ty, Matt, and Thora, which is, of course, they changed the dialogue a little bit once again for a little bit more of the romantic implication. Not, it wasn't made as obvious in this. As it ever was in the dub. In the dub, it was like really, they were really hammering in that stuff. For some odd reason, even though it wasn't really there in the Japanese version. I've seen parts of the Japanese version, I've never seen the full thing. I did watch Digimon Adventure, season one, through to the completion in Japanese, but I skipped around a little bit. But I saw pretty much all of it. But the point though is that everything was fine. Johnny Young Bot. Okay, I didn't want to talk about this. Johnny Young Bot. Small problem with him doing TK. I always just... Whenever TK speaks, like, they're in a serious tone, I get ready to hear him say Bonkai. I'm so used to the Johnny Young Bot portrayal of Ichigo in the Viz Media dub. And hearing him say... So, and he, he, he's different. It's, he's, he's not playing using his Ichigo voice. TK is younger, his voice is a lot less deep. It, it definitely fits TK, but it still, when I hear it, I still think, is that Ichigo? That, 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 that's 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 dumb Ichigo. Like, that's the exact thing that I think of. And uh, Ty, I have a couple of gripes with. I forgot the guy who does Ty. I know, you, you, you elitist can kill me. I'm not a very hardcore Digimon, Digimon man. I don't I know a lot about the lore, and I don't really know too many of the voice actor. Did that I don't know any of the voice actors besides Johnny Yon Botch. I only knew that because I know he played the role of Ichigo and I recognized the voice. And I thought about it on I saw something about it on Anime News Network. Then that is beside the point. The point is that Ty now is pretty much the exact same in this in tree as he is in the original. Ty was like twelve or ten in the original. His voice had not changed at all, and he's like nearly 17 years old. That bothered me. His voice should be deeper. I'm sorry. I mean, I get it. I know the guy is like a hypnosis guy or something. He hasn't done any voice acting in a long time. He really just did this because he, you know, he knows there's a lot of people that grew up in the dub and really want to see the main cast return for this. So he was like, you know what? Screw it. There's a lot of, I don't want to let down the fans of this series. This is the only series he did, I think, that ever really took off in any kind of way. Like, did he mind the most popular theory he ever voiced that before? But then he quit voice that thing. He didn't do it anymore. So I figured he probably just wanted to come back and do it for the fans. But I mean, does that mean it's okay to tie sounds like a 12 year old when he's 17? No. A lot of the other new voice that I had to get used to, I was very happy because. I think they had all the same voice actors for all the Digimon. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they were all the same. So I liked that. I really did. Um, 
There wasn't much. The Gigi, the Gigi rap. The rap. All this, that, the rap was shit. <laughs> that, that's all I have to say. The rap was absolutely terrible. It was actually, the audience in the movie theater were, like, they were applauding constantly when Braveheart played and when, when, uh, Aguma and Digi Ball to Grandma the first time, the whole audience, audience, like, broke out clapping. That was great. That was really, that was great stuff. I loved it. That was really good. Like, the whole, whole audience was, like, clapping. It was really cool. The all, but the only time that I, that people weren't clapping, that I knew they were supposed to be clapping at, was that intro, but did you, like, it was silent, and I even heard the guy behind me. By the way, the guy behind me was amazing. Like, I heard him it give, like, there were so many times I was to turn around and be like, you are, you are amazing. He, he was, like, giving his friend a detailed explanation of what One Punch Man was. And it was hilarious. His description of One Punch Man was hilarious, but that's not what this video is. I can, maybe I'll talk about it on, like, a live stream. By the way, I'm streaming tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow, but that's the subject at hand. And that was the only time, but the guy behind me was like, so lame. And you heard, heard I heard a couple other people being like, bullshit. Ah, crap, like, damn it. Like, a lot of people were really disappointed. Then Braveheart started playing, and everybody was like, thank you for not screwing this up, guys. Why did you need that rap? I seriously, if you're going to keep it, you have to need music for the rest of the film. Why do you need that, that, that damn the rap? You, and, you're, and you're not going to do an English version, you put Butterfly in there. I, I did not understand the logic there at all. From a business perspective, at least. But, I mean, it was a decent dub. I mean, there were a couple times... I can't really... I don't want to go too much into it, but there were a couple times where you were kind of like... Ugh, this is really... I, you know, I, I don't know, he, I don't think Izzy said pro digits in the Japanese version, he said it in this. Yeah, I, did he say pro digits in the Japanese version? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was cheesy and bad. The, they also, did, they did, they said did evolving, which, I, I, uh, I prefer evolving, I mean, I feel like, I feel like the Digi Evolution scene, the Digi Evolving, the Evolution scene, are taken... Ten times more seriously when they say evolve. Like they say Shinka, I think. I think Shin Agama Shinka, I think I think it's Shinka in Japanese, I think Shinka is the Japanese word for evolve, I think. So when they say evolve, you need to less campy. When you add in Digi like when you add in Digi to everything like they even the dub, I feel like it killed it, honestly. You can disagree with me, I I lose it, it makes it ten times more campy. That I didn't like. I mean, it was a, it was a good dub. I mean, I did. I mean, just, and like, all the other gripes I had with it were gripes I had with the first movie, such as in case you don't want to go watch my review, I'll go over my gripes with it very very quickly. Just my small gripes, just the major ones, the major ones and the small ones. Not, not like recap, none of that. Just, any mini gripes? I'll go over a couple of gripes that with the movie, alright? This video is unscripted and unplanned. I randomly decided to do this last minute. No, but, um, one gripe I have with it, every time they say, I think it's just hearing it in English, out loud, but when they say we're the only ones that can do this, it really just makes you, like, oh my god, no you're not. I mean, I get it, you would, I get it, they're like retconning season 2 out of the distance. They even killed off, oh by the way, nobody in the theater, can, I heard like, one person be like, oh, huh. like gasp, when, when we saw the season 2 cast get taken out. But I don't think anybody cared, nobody freaked out. Like, nobody made a big, it wasn't even like, freaked out, like hype, like, oh, the season 2 cast is down, it's a big deal. No, there was no reaction. Which I mean, like, one person gasping. Nobody gave a single crap about the season 2 cast. Which I found hilarious. Because season 2 and its epilogue are... I don't know too... I, the few people I've talked to that do watch this series don't like season 2 very much. And the epilogue... Well, everybody hates the epilogue. The epilogue is garbage. But according to the, according to season 2, final battle, with the, and this takes place after season 2, there are multiple groups 
of Digidestin or Chosen Children all over the planet in different countries. Yeah, they are not the only. Yo, what, what, what's, what's, that, what's that bastard name? The, 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 blonde, the annoying blonde British kid from New York. Uh, shit, shit, yeah, I saw the movie like. I rewatched the whole thing in Japanese in the movies like half a year ago. Um, Will, Willis, whatever his name is, Willis, Will, Will, I don't know. That kid. Him. Yeah, him. Well, I'll get him and him friends handle it. And they even referenced it in the movie. She gave like typing to other city that's it. It's really annoying. I, mean, I don't think it was translated in the Japanese version. I think it was katakana or Japanese writing. Or kanji or something. But in this it said like it was like it's not something like Digi Destin chat. It was like a chat room for them on a computer. It was so stupid. You know, look, it doesn't make sense. Uh, there were a lot of things in this movie that hearing it out loud really made you realize how stupid it was. The last one was, of course, them freaking out over Bajijimon like it was anything abnormal in this city. Even though ten years ago, an evil Digimon invaded and took, and took the entire city hostage. And the Digimon fought him and ultimate and mega level. Yeah, I guess uh, they reference it, but they still they act, they act like they don't know anything. It's really weird. It's like they just forgot everything that happened and they didn't want it. It's like they only remember what's convenient. And it's noticeable in the Japanese version, but I think just hearing it, hearing it in English and not reading it, it just, it makes you be like, damn it. But, you know, the dub, that, that's one of his flaws. It does make you notice more of the problem with the movie. Yeah, but... That's about it. I, thought, I think it's a good dub. I think when it, if it's on... I'm not sure if it's online already. I'll probably check after this and post in the comments and you can find it online, yes. But you should definitely check it out when, you, when, when it comes out online. It was only available today in theaters, unfortunately. At least in the U.S. But you should definitely check out the English release when it comes out online. If you grew up in the dub, or if you grew up in the dub, if you never watched the dub and you never and you never had any interest in watching it, there's no reason to watch it. But if you want to see Digimon Adventure Tree dubs like I did, just watch it. It was, it was good. Decent, I mean, it, it, it's a it's a dub. It, it, it's a decent dub. Better, better than the original Dragon Ball. It's better than your 90 Dragon Ball dub. And it's... I, I don't think it's on par with Kai. It gets a good dub. It really is. So yeah, if you want to see Digimon Adventure Tree Reunion dub, check this out. It's, it's worth it. Peace.